Hello, my name is Mark and welcome to I'm Organic Gardening located in Zone 6B in the state of New Jersey. Now, what we see here in front of us is an invasive species. It was thought to be contained in Pennsylvania in 13 different counties in southeastern Pennsylvania. But now I have this in my garden. And like I said, I am located in the state of New Jersey. Pennsylvania, those areas are about an hour and a half drive away from me. And what this is called is called a spotted lantern fly. Now, it's originally thought to uh, go after uh, trees because it actually has inside this area here, it has kind of like a spike that will actually go inside uh, the tree bark and, and start sucking out the sap and other things. But now they're saying it's actually being reported that it's going after certain vegetable crops also too. Now, I want you to make be aware of this so you can start setting out uh, traps or making your own traps. Now, I'm just getting used to this right now. I will try to uh, educate you more on what traps I'm going to build. There seems to be a lot of information online about this. Now, what's crazy about this, again, it was uh, discovered in 2014, and they thought it was contained in 13 counties of southeastern Pennsylvania, but it is going out crazy here now in New Jersey, maybe because of all the wind that we've had from storms that's pushing it over. It doesn't matter. It's here, and it's here to stay. And then also, too, let me show you something else also that you should look for. Now, what we're seeing here in this picture is the bark of a tree and this area right here is the eggs or egg masses that the spotted lanternfly uh, lays on the trees. Now this can be anywhere in your garden. It doesn't also uh, go on your trees all the time. It can uh, actually uh, be around, let's say on your tomato stems or on your trellis is a good point. Uh, if you use any type of trellis that's stationary all the time, they will actually make this. And this uh, egg mass can contain anywhere from 30 to 50 eggs uh, and it's protected like a mud-like mud covering, giving them a gray color or, or kind of a cracked mortar look. The egg masses can be found and destroyed in late September to June. So now is a good time to start searching in your garden. Uh, it's not similar to a prey mantis uh, like egg sac or something like that. As you notice, this is flat. Prey mantis is more a, let's say, uh, a marshmallow or a large like acorn shape. It's round and circular, so you're not gonna worry about this. But this is what you should look for now in September to June in your garden. Here's the actual one that I found. You can see here's a cobweb, another insect in it. Oh, I love my spiders in the garden. Now, if we flip this over to just a good looking thing, you can see the long legs on it, the spotted I can't zoom in a little bit closer here. The spots on it, and also we can identify it too, is it has this beautiful red belly on it. I say beautiful, but it's not really because we don't want this in the garden. Now, I'm going to say from total length here to here is a little bit under an inch, probably like three quarters or so. Long legs, antennae, and again, something that you do not want in your garden. But the best thing is when we work with nature, nature is also helping us because again, this was caught in a spider web and is no longer with us. Now here's a much better picture I found online about the spotted lanternfly. Now, I did make a mistake when I just said also too. It's actually the, it's not the belly of this insect with the spotted lanternfly. You can see here that it's actually that red part is on the wings. So another good identification to see and to kind of look for in your garden. But again, look for those egg sacs now so you won't have a problem next year. Now is a perfect time to start looking for it. Now I will go over traps you can uh, make at home in another video but also too i want you to show you this now because what it is you can start looking for all these things in your garden on your trellises that are permanent uh, your fruit uh, crop trees like your apples and peaches if you have them in your garden now's a good time to start removing those egg sacs that
I will also list these two articles I found uh, very easily online. Uh, one's from Vegetable Growers New, and they'll be in the description below, a link to it. And the other one will be from this article too, it's called the Farm and Dairy Report. Now, this is awesome. They give you a lot of information and we'll go over it again in another video. And let's see if I can find some uh, spotted Landorfine egg masses on my farm. And I'm gonna be searching around. Also, another great gardening channel I enjoy watching is James Prigioni and the gardening channel by James Prigioni. And if you can let him know about these uh, spotted lanternfly masses that are maybe being growing on his trees and help him identify them because he has a beautiful orchard and he spent a lot of time getting all those uh, fruit trees up to production, a uh, knowledgeable person, kind person, and again, inform him of this and it you know because he reads all the comments that you send all the time and let him know that he should be on the lookout for these uh, terrible insects that are you know coming maybe towards his way and he can prevent them by looking for those egg masses now now here's a very good diagram of the spotted lanternfly life cycle now we start up here or around now this is September to December that we look for this and it's also is egg laying now and the eggs are usually around from october to june and then and uh, the eggs will hatch in may to june of next year going through uh second instar so they become larger from june to july and third instar is from uh again june to july they're turning also larger and black in color now from june or actually from July, September, they turn a, a reddish color, almost like a ladybug, but not any similar to a ladybug. It has more, it doesn't have that nice uh, elongated head like a ladybug. It more looks like a uh, squash bug, but it's red in color. And then turns to your, let's say moth stage from July to December. And now it's an adult. And then it repeats that whole cycle again. So look out for them in your garden. Be very cautious of them. We're gonna get more information as the days go by, or actually the months go by, that uh, reports of how much devastating it, uh, turn of crops. I have seen about, I wasn't noticing, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of different. I wonder what that is, but never got a chance to look into it this year because we had so many storms. Now, I've seen a cluster of them on my back door on the molding. And I guess they were going there because some of the paint came off and it was wood. So I'm gonna to try to find if there's a group around or so. But in that group that I had on my house, I was gonna say there's probably at least 20 of them, at least. And I should have took a picture. I had my camera, not camera, I had my cell phone there. And I'm like, uh, you know, like, you know, I, I just did not notice these things. And I'm kicking myself in the butt right now that I did not take notice. And I wish I took a, a picture of them or something like that. But actually there was another farm visiting, a farmer visiting me and he goes, you know, he says, you gotta kill those things. And I says, he says, what? He goes, um, they're simply like they're destroying crops here in New Jersey. And I'm like, and he couldn't remember the name of it off the top of his head, but I'm just like, oh, again, right there in front of me, not enough time to research it, to understand it, and I failed. So maybe it's gonna be my own mistake if I lose a couple of fruit trees or some other plants. But again, I wanna share this with you because I made the mistake and I don't want you to make the mistake. Now here's a trap they're offering on Amazon right now to catch these. Now it seems it's pretty easy to uh, make here on our own. Now what it is is just netting here and let's click on a couple different pictures down below. Now, let's see if we get a better one here. Lanternfly, okay. What it is, there's netting down below that we saw in this picture. And it's opened up with these two, let's say plastic or metal bars. And it seems that they climb up the tree inside this netting, like so. And then on the top of the netting is a plastic bag. And they just crawl up into that and just stay there. I guess they don't, understand to go backwards or try to go out through another method. Now there's no other uh, insecticide in there or nothing else either. It seems very easy that we can make something and that's what we'll be working on in the next like say week or so. Uh, it's just very interesting how this is all coming about right now for me. 
When you get a chance, please like the video and share it with your friends. Now also too, is you can find a link over here in the corner to my Facebook page and I'll post more additional information on the Facebook. Thanks, enjoy, and have a great gardening day.